Hi everyone and welcome back to Oh Tanta Passione! We are officially in spring since yesterday so I just thought it would be nice to take a video on my Sunday walk today just to talk and make some uh, consideration uh, regarding uh, tennis from tomorrow the Master 1000 in Miami will, uh, will start and it's going to be the first time since 2004 that neither uh, one of the big three will be playing this uh, um, Master 1000 so no Roger, no Rafa, no Nole it sounds you know, very very strange uh, probably is giving me the, the idea that we need to try to enjoy as much as we can these uh, three champions regardless if you are a Roger fan or a Rafa fan or a Nole fan um, doesn't matter um, you, you, you might enjoy more uh, watching uh, one of them but each one uh, has an incredible uh, determination uh, commitment uh, love and passion for, uh, for this sport and I'm just worried because uh, looking at the new generation uh, I don't know I don't see that kind of uh, determination uh, and uh, focus uh, on uh, on this uh, sport they're much more uh, distracted uh, and probably thinking on uh, on something else but we need to face with this new generation uh, based on uh, social media likes uh, and uh, and so on anyway i was just thinking you know 17 years for 17 years we had uh, at least one of them in a master 1000 so who who knows probably <laughs> The next time is going to be a Grand Slam without, uh, without them. Um, as you know, Roger decided to, to pull out from, uh, from Dubai and as well the Master 1000 in Miami after his um, two matches that he played in, uh, in Doha, uh, coming back uh, you know, after probably 14, 15 months uh, since the last uh, uh, professional uh, match. Uh, so I really hope to see Roger uh, back again uh, he said that he might play uh, some uh, tournaments you know during the clay season or who knows if we're going to see Roger uh, directly you know back at the Roland Garros as well Rafa um, made it clear that he wants to improve uh, the, the situation with his back it doesn't feel you know um, on uh, his 100% uh, and probably we're going to see, you know, Rafa back in uh, Monte Carlo. I think the Master 1000 in Monte Carlo will start uh, on uh, the 12th of April. And the same probably with, uh, with Nole. Uh, Nole, who said that he wanted to spend more time with his family, just try to relax. Now that he uh, managed, you know, to hold the record in terms of uh, weeks as a number one, he said, uh, my main focus will be only on the Grand Slam. And uh, I believe, you know, the three of them deserve probably to spend more time at home with their families, uh, try to rest. Uh, it's quite uh, uh, crazy looking at the, these new rules regarding uh, the um, quarantine, the fact that, you know, that they can't take with them uh, the entire staff or family. We all know that it's so important for Roger to have his uh, wife Mirka around him, the, the kids. Um, and the same for, uh, for Nole, so I totally understand uh, their uh, decision uh, considering that, you know, tennis is an individual sport probably they need to find their uh, balance around them and uh, I think this is something that we don't have to uh, underestimate so <laughs> probably like uh, Rafa is always saying, they're getting older these uh, three heroes, these uh, big three uh, these uh, champions who manage, you know, to uh, to give us incredible, incredible uh, memories. Uh, I was just looking at the numbers, uh, for example, and um, I think Rafa played the 28 Grand Slam finals. He won 20 of them and he lost eight. The same uh, Djokovic played the 28, uh, but in his case he won 18 and he lost the 10. And I believe uh, Roger played the 30, 31 Grand Slam finals, winning 20 and losing 11. Um, it's still something unbelievable. Um, I don't think that other players in the coming uh, next uh, 10 or 20 years are going to be able to, to do that. Uh, but let's see. 
so for that reason I consider myself extremely lucky because I was born and I could enjoy you know this uh, uh, era of uh, tennis with the, these uh, three champions all playing at the at the same time and uh, you know trying to push each other to to the limit try to 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 improve to get you know even better and um, and probably to to try even to adjust their uh, their game their style uh, because if i look back uh, i i can definitely say that you know nole improved so much with his uh, serve as well uh, uh, roger with his uh, backhand trying to anticipate uh, and uh, and rafa with his um, uh, forehand down the line uh, and uh, trying you know you know, make the, the rallies uh, shorter. So it's incredible to see the evolution of these uh, three uh, players. Uh, and also, I believe uh, uh, for uh, each one of them, uh, family was so important um, in uh, their uh, success. They are very, very close to uh, their peers, uh, you know, to the, the closest people in uh, their lives. Uh, it's not uh, uh, a mystery that even Roger said that Mirka um, always had such an important uh, role in my life. Uh, the same for, uh, for Nole uh, and, uh, and for Rafa, you know, Uncle Tony and all the people is so attached to his uh, island, uh, to his, uh, mm, you know, parents, uh, sister and, uh, and so on. And probably I think this is the secret of their uh, success. Um, looking also at other players, we know as well that uh, Dominic Thiem is not going to play in uh, Miami. Dominic Thiem, who lost, I believe, in the first round uh, at the um, Dubai uh, Master 500 uh, against a South African player, Harris, who managed you know, to reach the, the final against the Russian player uh, uh, Karatsev. Uh, the, you know, the Russian player who managed you know, to uh, challenge uh, Nola, um, Nole Djokovic in the semi-final at the Australian Open. For the Russian player, I think was his first big title in his career. Uh, and also he managed to beat uh, um, his uh, friend, uh, the other Russian player, uh, Rublev, in the semi-final. So ending uh, basically Rublev's incredible uh, um, number of consecutive wins uh, in this uh, particular uh, tournament. I think he stopped after 23 consecutive wins or something like that, but you can check, you know, I'm not uh, Wikipedia. Um, and, and I think uh, uh, probably uh, even if he's not uh, that young, I believe Karatsev is uh, 26 or 27, but he had so many injuries and problems uh, uh, in his past. So it's quite uh, nice to see him uh, winning an important tournament. And also we had uh, just last night the Acapulco uh, final, the, the Master 500 between uh, Alexander Zverev and uh, um, Stefano Tsitsipas. The, the German player managed to win in uh, two straight sets, I think with a score of 6-4, uh, 7-6. Uh, um, I think Alexander Zverev was very, very happy, he said he was very proud of himself. Uh, he said, um, I always felt a great connection with uh, Mexico, with the supporters uh, uh, in this uh, uh, beautiful uh, country. And uh, I'm very proud of myself and as, tell, uh, as well as uh, Stefano Tsitsipas uh, said that he, he was in, mm, happy, you know, for the intensity of his uh, uh, game. Uh, the, the Greek player who managed to, to beat Musetti, I believe, the, the Italian, the new coming uh, uh, star in the uh, semi-final. So now it's going to be up to them to try to compete in the Master 1000. At this point, uh, Daniel Medvedev is uh, probably considered uh, the favorite. The, he just reached the second spot in, uh, in the world. Uh, he won uh, Mar Marcel uh, just a few days ago. Um, and who knows if he's going to be able you know, to get uh, um, as many points as possible uh, to eventually try now to, to reach you know, the first spot in, uh, in the world. Who knows? Uh, for sure, this is going to be a quite important and key uh, here to see you know, what is going to be the destiny and the future of the, the big three. Um, I really hope, fingers crossed, uh, that the latest regarding the Wimbledon tournament are the, they are going to, to play with uh, probably half capacity of uh, spectators. So I really hope, because, so in that way I'm going to be able to to eventually see them live. I don't know if probably for the last time at uh, Wimbledon, who knows, uh, Roger, uh, we're all very concerned about his uh, decision and what he's going to, to decide also regarding his fitness, uh, 
the, the issue you know with the, with the knee who who knows the, the most important thing stay tuned on this uh, channel as you can see I promise uh, this morning it was a uh, sunny but in uh, in the UK like they usually say we have uh, four seasons in a day but you know we are we're not uh, in uh, such a bad position because if you go to Ireland or Scotland they tell you they have uh, four seasons in five minutes uh, so we always need to look at the glass uh, half full and like I usually say uh, right now try to stay optimistic and not uh, positive uh, in our days it's not good you know probably to to say I'm positive uh, that's all for today I wish to all of you an incredible uh, uh, Sunday and um, uh, rest of the week enjoy the Miami uh, Master 1000 and probably speak to you soon uh, again with uh, more uh, comments or observation uh, regarding the big three and the new next gen and uh, emerging uh, players uh, that's all for today don't forget subscribe to this channel share the video leave your comments and uh, ciao